So, ready for the next mystery gadget on this episode of What the Heck Is That? We have it right here. Here it is. Like magic, here it is. What's well, got a, a brush here, a suction cup thing here, and will this change your life? Will this make your life better? That's why we're all asking the question. What the heck is that? Welcome to What the Heck Is That? The new gadget game show. And I'm your host, Steve Huber. You might recognize me from NBC's Today Show, or maybe you know I'm the book, the author of book, Gadget Nation. And you can find out more about me online. And of course, we have our panel of experts right here to help us figure out the identity of this mystery product. So here, I'm holding it up really close so you can see it. And hi, panel, how you doing? Hello. Okay, so uh, remember, but first let me talk to you viewers at home. Please click that subscribe button. It's critically important, so it doesn't cost you anything. And ring that bell. By ringing that bell, you'll get notified when there are new episodes. So, uh, and remember, this is, we're trying to help uh, mom and pop inventors of products like this get their products out there. So you're helping them by helping us. So please, help us out. Hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's get back to the game. And first up, we're gonna go to, she's no longer new to the game, because she was in our last episode as well, Jana Lee uh, and the furry kiddos. Hi, how you doing? Thank you for joining us. Doing good. Those two They're are so time. cute. And yeah. So if you don't know who, who Jana Lee and the furry kiddos are, which are named Gizmo and Starlina, they are on YouTube they, and every other social media platform. They have over 100,000 followers. They do these really great feel-good videos. Some of them are very funny. And this one is called Puppies of the Corn. Take a look. Children of the corn should be scared. This is going to take it over. Very, very <laughs> cute video. So, so generally, you you can take a look at this product right here and tell us what's your yes or no question to try to figure out what the heck this is. That's a suction cup on the bottom. It is right there. Um, my Jelly. question would be: Is it something to do with cleaning something? Is it used to clean something? Uh, Yes, I would say on some level, the answer to that is a yes. It does help to clean something. Okay, great way of narrowing it down. We go from Jana Lee to Wayne Johnson, who I have known for 1.2 million years. Wayne, thank you for joining us. Wayne is a food and lifestyle guru, also seen on NBC Chicago. Today show, Good Morning America. He's got an amazing YouTube channel. It's called Wayne Bites. Check it out. You'll learn about cooking, travel, restaurants, everything. It's and it's produced beautifully because he really is an amazing producer. Wait, so taking a look at this, if we get this up close to the camera, mm -hmm. what is this? Um, I just have a question. Normally, when you see a suction cup, you think it's supposed to be attached to a wall. Is that designed to actually be attached to the floor? I would say not the floor and not a wall. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. so let's go on to uh, Lois, Whitman, Hess. Now, uh, let's all put our hands together and just pray that Lois doesn't say anything too inappropriate. Lois. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I because know. whatever that was invented for, to me, sales would go skyrocketing if it was located on a wall and you put your leg up like that and it went in here and it went around and around because you don't want anything that's going to be too hard that is just perfect for you know what okay well it's yeah, not designed I, no for i don't it. know what I'm, i have no idea yeah, yeah. i don't know well, what you know what it is Ariella, I'll, I'll have that. to show i'll have to draw you a diagram i'm not sure i want to see it in real life so but does that does that spin does that what? little no, it doesn't spin. It's all solid. 
there are no, you know, moving parts. Nothing, nothing well, turns on it. Just tell the inventors what I said. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll pass that along. But, but the answer to her question is no, 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 no. Okay, let's move on to Harry Redlick. Harry, take a good look. Um, is there a specific room in the house where you would use this product? Uh, yeah, I would say yes. This is really designed for one specific room in the house. I would agree with that. Okay, good question. Has it narrowed it down? That is round one. And this is a time for me to tell you folks at home, if you're watching, take a good look at this. Okay, do you know what it is? Any guesses? Well, go down and write it in the comments. We'll check it and we'll see if you're right. Take a look. Any idea what this is? Put it in the comments. Okay, let's get back onto round two. And we go back to uh, Jana Lee and the furry kiddos. Jana Lee, tell us your thoughts. Now you've got some information. Let's, let's kind of review it. We know it's for one specific room of the house. It does have yep. some cleaning thing going on. It's not designed for something like in the genital area that I think that Lois was buying. Mm -hmm. So it's not that. So now that you have all that information, what do you think? What's your question? You don't have to guess. What's your question? Well, what the heck Gizmo. is that? I think Gizmo wants to guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Gizmo, let me hear your question, Gizmo. Here we go. He's, he's, he's making his guess. Okay, wait. He wants to know, is suction cup for a sink? Will it go on to a sink? Oh my gosh. He is so smart. Yes. This is a suction cup. Should go on to a sink and some other places Smiling. too. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Gizmo, you know what? Gadget over here is getting really yeah. jealous. He's like, hey, I don't get to play along and Gizmo's doing really good. Okay, be a good boy. Stay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good, very so good. Happy. <laughs> I'm happy too. Okay, we, we, we've definitely narrowed it down a little bit now, Wayne. Okay, you've got some some uh, a question now to help follow up on what oh, you um, came hmm. up with. Well, uh, when I'm thinking it's attaching to a sink, my, my natural think would thought would be that you're using it to scrub pots or something. Is it used to scrub oh. pots? Not used to scrub pots. But okay. Yes. He said uh, it, again, it was it, not. It, it did not cl clean anything, right? It wasn't used for cleaning something. No, no. I said it was used. It does clean something. Oh. It's very specific, but yeah, it does clean something. Hmm. Okay. So now we go on to uh, Lois Whitman. Hess, Lois. We know it's not involved in any personal areas of the body, um, but it is involved with the sink some degree of it's definitely cleaning tell us uh, what's your yes or no question for this lois um is it for liquids versus solids i would say it's being used on solids you'd be using it on a solid something to clean a solid hmm. something that helps okay now we move on to harry redlick and he's the star of script stage screen his own backyard, and he makes TikTok videos of him screaming at the pigeons who are at his bird feeder. So it's not, <laughs> it's very specific, but I think it's, uh, uh, it's, it's gonna it's, break. It's gonna break anytime now. It's just gonna hit. I know people I'm are waiting be, I'm for that. Bigger, I'm gonna be bigger than those dogs. That's right. Harry <laughs> screaming at pigeons. I'm telling you, it's huge. Huge, everybody. It's gonna Check be out huge. His I don't need okay. the damn dog. I want to see this. <laughs> He's doing it without the dogs. And you know, Harry has a dog, but that dog will only bite people. But I think that's okay. He's not acting no. Okay, um, Harry. Okay, is this used to clean um, a human being? No, it's not to be used on us as people. No, it's not. It's not cleaning people. Can I get a bonus question? <laughs> Only because we love you. Okay, yeah, you give you a bonus or I'll start screaming. Is it used to clean uh, animals? No, animals? not, not okay. used to clean animals right. either. Okay. Okay, so now you've had your two rounds of questions. Uh, 
this is a good time for me to re remind everybody that if you like the show, even if you're not sure you like the show, click on that like button. Those like buttons are like, like a breath of fresh air and we all need a breath of fresh air. So please just click on that like button. Give us that fresh air we desperately need. Thank you. Okay, now back to our panel who now has their guesses. Let's see if anyone can figure out what the heck is that? Okay. We're gonna go to Jana Lee and the furry kiddos. I, Gizmo was very strong on the last round. What, what's, <laughs> what's the guess? Well, he was very strong on where the product goes. <laughs> <laughs> but now we have to figure out <laughs> what the product is used for in the sink um, and what right. it scrubs. Because he says it scrubs solids. So, <laughs> I want to say it had to do something with like dishes, you know, like cleaning, you know, like, um, so it's like, would it be getting rid of grease or, you know, like hard stuff like that? I don't know. Oh. No, no, but you know what? Excellent guess. And <laughs> what's going on to you, you did find Gizmo. I'm a little disappointed in you, <laughs> but, the, but, uh, but everybody else, you did, you did great, uh, oh. Okay, we're gonna move it on to Wayne. Johnson. The only the only question I wish had been further asked was whether or not it's the kitchen sink or the bathroom sink. Yes, absolutely. Because yes. I, that's an issue. Because if, if I'm going to go with kitchen sink, I think it's for like utensils, like uh, whisks and things like that that get very caked up. So the bristles are good at getting the mess out of the whisks or forks or things like that that are very difficult to clean uh, individually. Good guess. And... Uh, and you're right, that was something that should have been determined what sink we're talking about. And let me add a little insight to the viewers at home. We're talking bathroom sink. Uh, oh. Okay. Ah, so now yeah. we move on to Lois oh. Whitman Hess. Do you have a guess? Yes, I clean my vegetables in the bathroom. <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> I, and I'm not surprised. My, my vegetables are not what you buy, what you think. So I have. That was I a curve. That was yeah. a nasty curve. No, it wasn't nasty. Yes, it was. You should have asked the question, what sink? Is that bathroom? Should this kitchen? Okay. I, you know, once again, your lawyer. Gizmo, Gizmo, give uh, Steve your thoughts about that. Oh right. uh, woof, woof, hey. woof, 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 woof. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> woof, woof, woof. Somebody's mad. Okay, I'm going back. Woof, 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 woof. Oh, okay, Starling! Starling! Oh, Starling! <laughs> oh my like... gosh! <laughs> okay, last okay. but not least, Harry, this, you've got to do cleanup here. What do you this, think? This show is turning into some crazy sort of role-playing <laughs> uh, <laughs> animal plushy. I don't even know what what it is, but. Um... <laughs> I think you should just keep the camera on Jenna Lee and, and the kids the whole time because yes. it's just... absolutely. <laughs> um, I don't know. I said a, a soap holder. I have no idea. It's like I thought maybe you cleaned your fingernails on it or something, but you said no, it's not for humans. Not I have no humans. idea. Okay, here we go. Uh, three of us have an advantage. Maybe not, I guess all of us have the same thing. Here's what it's used for. Get ready. It's used to clean this after shaving you do this and it actually makes supposedly makes the uh your track two three four or five whatever last much longer it gets in between those tracks so you clean it so you suction it to the inside of the sink when the water is running you get it underneath there and you clean your your uh razor, razor blade there we go with this so this is called <laughs> Shave Rescue, it's at shaverescue.com. It's around, I don't know, under 25 bucks. How much? And I know, it's a little pricey, I thought so too, 25 bucks. Oh, 25, I think he said 125. No, 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 but it's still 25, so I thought was a, I thought that was a little, little steep, but you know, it does work, it's made really well. I have to tell you, it's really, you know, strong, hard plastic. I think it's gonna last a long time. I, I've used it, it works really well. Uh, again, Shave Rescue, here, here it is again. Okay, and uh, again, shaverescue.com. Once again, panel, you were amazing, amazing. And we will be back next time 
Hope you enjoyed that episode. Wow, that was a close shave. <laughs> now, if you want to see another cool episode, check out this gadget right here. What the heck is it? Only one way to find out. Check out episode number 37. And what's going to be the next mystery gadget? It's right here. Any idea what the heck that is? Only one way to find out. Hit the subscribe button and hit that bell. When this episode is posted, you'll get a notice. Doesn't cost you anything. And you'll learn what the heck this is. So check it out. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. See you next time.